Vegans also some of the wildest people I know personally, like. Vegans be on some shit. Like my vegan friends will be the first one to offer me like drugs they found in the bar bathroom. And be like, yo, you want to share? And it's like, absolutely not. Like the fuck, yeah. Just so like young, wild, and free. Hey, what's going on? It's Trey. Back for another questionnaire of life. And today we have singer, songwriter, general artist, cool shirt haver, cool shirt by the way. Uh, Mariah the Scientist, what's going on? Not much, just excited to see what you're gonna ask me. <laughs> Don't know what to expect. Well, that's the entire point of the show. I know. We'll start off easy. Uh, which one of these is closest to a sandwich? A taco, Oreos, or a Hot Pocket? An Oreo. Why an Oreo? Just the anatomy. I mean, I'm assuming the chocolate would be the buns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the funniest thing I've had to explain, but yeah, I guess the chocolate would be the buns and the cream would be the meat. This is... <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. So, this might be the next funniest thing you gotta explain. Would you rather fight one Dwayne The Rock Johnson, 10 dudes throwing 100 rocks, or would you have to climb from under 1,000 rocks? Well, I'm not fighting The Rock. <laughs> and I'm not getting stoned by fucking 100 niggas. Like, what the fuck? It's only 10 dudes, but they oh, got 10. 100 rocks. Oh, yeah. yeah, but still, like, stoned? You know what that's like? Have you ever read the Bible or heard about it? Not doing that. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have to climb. I'm gonna have to climb my way out of that one. <laughs> That's just what it is. I would probably pick the 10 dudes throwing 100 rocks. You would rather get stoned. I, I'm not saying, you, 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 yo, they don't have to hit you. You could dodge them. You just, you just like zigzag, like, yeah, and like wait for them to run out of rocks. 10 niggas and 100 rocks. Yeah. You think you ain't getting hit? Once or twice. I'll cover my head. Once or twice? Yeah. Rai Rai World ends with a really good song called Revenge. Thank you. And what's the best type of revenge? Something you do yourself, something you let the universe handle, or just like not caring anymore? I don't really like to get revenge myself, not like direct revenge. So I, I don't think I would say that. The universe doesn't really play fair. It's, that's kind of inconsistent. I'm just gonna go with don't give a fuck anymore. Okay. I don't know, man. Just refusing to acknowledge somebody exists anymore hurts like people with really big egos sometimes. It's not revenge, it's just, though. It's not revenge. Revenge is like taking action against another action. Okay. Like repercussion. All right. What did you learn about yourself between this project and Master that kind of made Rai Rai World the album it became? I think Master is more about somebody else. And then this new project is just like more about myself, I think. And I know it seems like I'm talking to somebody else, but it's really just changing of the pronouns. Realistically, I'm talking to myself. Like the majority of those songs, I'm talking to myself. Okay. I just think I learned that I was much more multifaceted cognitively, emotionally than I thought I was before. All right, which of these is most important when putting together a project? Patience, self-confidence, or imagination? Imagination. How so? If you don't have imagination for it, it's probably gonna be much less creative. I mean, you could be inspired, but it, it'll probably be more like you copied something than, you know, thinking it up on your own. I mean, I just feel like that's the basis of everything. Shout out to Yoko Ono and her imagine vision her narrative that she pushed on the world, that agenda, I fuck with that. And I think without that, we'd probably be nothing. Before music, you wanted to be an anesthesiologist? Pediatric anesthesiologist. Can you spell that word off the top of your head? I think so. Okay. <clears throat> Should I? Yeah, let's see. A-N-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. <laughs> Why did I have nice to? one. <laughs> so you recently tweeted, I recommend playing it safe almost always. Is that still up there? Yeah, or was it is. that a tweet and delete? Nah, it wasn't deleted, I tell okay. you that much. Yeah. Well, why do you feel that way? 
if you have two girlfriends and one of them is like, you know, she's gonna, like, you know, you're gonna get off work and she's gonna have <clears throat> a meal prepared, she's a safe bet, she comes home, she's not running the streets, and then you have like this other girlfriend, she's more fun, very lively, but she might be a thought, she might have other niggas. What you gonna do? Me personally, I'm taking the food, the consistent sex with a safe partner. Might be fun, but I'm gonna play it safe when it comes down to it, for sure. <laughs> well, this was fun. Definitely was fun. Very interesting. Never been asked those questions. That's the whole point. Mariah the Scientist, I'm Trey. You'll see me next time, you won't see her. See y'all later. Bye, thank you. I don't know, the Bible is like filled with drama. Like, it's like really crazy as well. Like, if you read the Bible, it's like, nigga, what the fuck is this? Yeah, the whole Sodom and Gomorrah saga is fucking crazy. crazy, man. Just all of it is, really. Yeah, they threw this man Daniel into a whole lion's den.